So, um, today's webinar is going to be on Apple Wallet, which is an electronic wallet for um, your iPhone. So today we'll be covering what Apple Wallet is, how to access it on your iPhone, and some other ways to so how you can use it. First, what is Apple Wallet? So Apple Wallet is an iPhone app that can organize your credit and debit cards, as well as coupons, movie tickets, boarding passes, and rewards cards on your phone. And if you have an Apple Watch, it also works on that. The cards and info you save in the Wallet app can be accessed when you use Apple Pay, which is Apple's way of transferring money online. It's available for iPhones with iOS 15 or higher installed. So what exactly can you store on Apple Wallet? You can store your credit and debit cards, any airplane boarding passes, as well as event tickets if you're going somewhere. You can store your passports, driver's licenses, and other IDs if you want easy access to them. And you can also store gift cards and coupons. So how can you access Apple Wallet? But first, you have to find the Apple Wallet app on your iPhone. Uh, the icon looks something like this. And if you have iOS 15 or higher, it should be automatically installed. If it's not, you can always find it in the App Store. Once you've opened the app, you should see a page that looks something like this image on the right. You won't have any cards when you first download it. And you'll be able to add some, which we'll cover later in the presentation. So why should you use Apple Wallet? It's convenient because you only need your iPhone instead of having to worry about what cards you've brought. It's also more secure since you're more likely to pay attention to your phone. And even if someone does steal your phone, they'd have to unlock it, which they can't do unless they know your password. Or if you have a newer model, they'd need your fingerprint. You can also see any past payments on your iPhone easily. So if someone's used your credit card without knowing, you can alert your bank. So first we'll cover how to add ID cards to your Apple Wallet. So first you'll want to open the Apple Wallet app, which should be pre-installed. And if it's not, you can always double check the App Store. And if you don't see it, your phone might be too old. So you'll open up the app. And as you can see in this image at the bottom left, there should be a little plus sign. So you can tap that and choose which kind of card you're going to add. So an identification card in this example. So you'll see some prompts on your screen. And you can use your iPhone's camera, just like this image on the right. And you'll want to position your card in this square and make sure you're in an area with lots of bright light and a simple backdrop so that the phone knows what your card is. And once it, your phone has scanned it, you'll receive a confirmation message in the app. You can also add credit or debit cards to your Apple Wallet. So again, you should tap the plus sign at the top right of your screen and choose credit card. And then you'll be taken to the screen and you can press continue. So here you'll see the screen again and you'll want to position your card in this frame. If your card seems too big, you can try just lifting your phone up. If you're having trouble doing that, you can always enter your card details manually by pressing this button at the bottom of your screen. You can also add tickets and passes to Apple Wallet. And this, in this example, we'll be showcasing Eventbrite, which is an application that allows you to book tickets. So if you open the Eventbrite app and go to the tickets by pressing this little icon here at the bottom, and you can find all your tickets for upcoming events. And by tapping any one of the tickets, we'll see something that looks like this image in the middle. And you can see a bar here at the top that says add to Apple Wallet. 
So if you tap that, you'll be taken to this screen over here on the right. And just double check and make sure it's the right one. And then you can press add. And then it'll be transferred to your Apple wallet for you to use later. If you have a QR code, which is a little square that looks something like this in the middle, each one is unique. So you'll never have the same QR code twice. You can scan it. So to do that, you'll have to open up the camera app on your iPhone and take a picture of the QR code. And just like you can see here at the top of this image on the left, there's a little notification. And that means Safari has identified that you have a QR code. So if you click that notification, you'll be redirected to Eventbrite again. And just like in the last example, you'll be able to add it to your Apple Wallet. And once again, you'll see a screen that looks something like this. And then you press Add, and it'll be in your Apple Wallet. You can also redeem some rewards in Apple Wallet. So you can get an Apple credit card, and um, you'll be able to earn daily cash back on all of your purchases. So it's an automatic reward, and it's deposited onto your Apple cash card once you've processed any transaction. And uh, you can use that money by, and transfer it to your bank account, or you can pay friends through Apple Pay, and you can use it as a regular, you can use it on other cards or use it with your Apple credit card if you have one and pay like that. So there's tons of different apps that work with Apple Wallet. For example, there's Target, Sephora, if you're into beauty, Staples and Home Depot. Most airlines support it and most ticket booking apps do as well. And there's lots of other examples where you can use Apple Wallet. So you can also use Apple Wallet in person at a store. And depending on the model of your iPhone, there's different ways. So if, like this image on the left, your iPhone has a home button, which should be a little circle at the bottom of your iPhone, you can double press that. If you don't, like this image on the right, there should be a button on the side, uh, similar to where this person's finger is, and you can double press that. Then you should be taken something like this, and you probably see lots of your cards, and you can choose the card you want to use to pay with. Then, like in the middle of this image here, you'll be able to hold your phone near the reader, and just like how you might tap with a credit card, you can hold your phone near it and you'll hear a little ding sound once your payments are processed and then you can take your phone back. So not every store supports Apple Wallet. So you'll have to double check that the little credit card scanning machine has an icon that looks a bit like this saying Apple Pay. And that means you're able to use your Apple Wallet. And uh, just tell the cashier what kind of card you're using to pay, and they can sort out the rest. We have a more detailed webinar on Apple Wallet, which you can find at this link here. And you can also check all your previous transactions for any card in Apple Wallet. So in this image on the left, you can see a couple of different cards. And by tapping one of them, you'll be taken to a screen that looks something like this, where you can see where you bought it, where you bought something, how you bought it, when you bought it, and how much you spent. You can also use this to check if someone's used your credit card without you knowing, and you can alert your bank if that happens. And by clicking any one of the purchases, you, you'll be taken to a screen that looks like this, showing the amount, which card you used, and where you did it. And this button at the bottom saying report an issue, that can be used if someone, you think someone's committed credit card fraud and used your card without your permission. 